All right, this is dissection one. First dissection, the first thing you are going to need to do when I turn you loose is find the cut in the neck of the pig. So this side doesn't have it. I'm going to flop it over and that's where I can see there's been a slit made in the throat. That was to drain all of the blood. Now, this is where the technique comes into play. You need to pay attention to this. That will serve as one side of our triangle. Okay. The other side of the triangle will be, we will make a superficial cut underneath the eye to the corner of the mouth, then from the corner of the mouth down to the other side. So I will start that right now. So I'm going to find that, put my scissors in, and try to stay as superficial as possible. It does help if you have sharp scissors. I'm going right underneath the eye to the corner of the mouth. Boom. Going to change angles. And actually I'll do it this way from down here. I will go as superficial as possible. To the corner of the mouth. Okay, so now I have my initial triangle. Oops! <laughs> it just splattered on my leg. <laughs> I will clean that up. For okay. You. That's first time. All over my new shoes. Oh well. So, um, wow, Monday. We want to take that flap of skin off as superficially as, as possible because right attached to the skin will be the parotid gland which uh, produces saliva, sends that, sends that saliva into the mouth at that upper second molar. So I'm going to take my forceps and pull up on one of those edges and just start working my scissors under the skin like so. Superficial, you, uh, here's the big thing in dissection. You can always go back and cut stuff out, but once you cut something out, it's gone forever. And I can start to see some parotid glands showing up right now. So I'm just working right underneath the skin. That's, and remember that skin would include dermis and epidermis so it's not super thin but it is thin enough that uh, we want to stay away from big structures so I'm just continuing I don't know if, yeah you can see now the, for you all you're not professional like me so this will take a little bit longer maybe going to start at the other end now and This flap will be thrown in the trash. <laughs> so, there's my flap, goes in the trash. Now, once I get to that point, it's all about cleaning this area up. Uh, because right now you can't see anything and I would say start with it. Well, you can kind of see something. There's the masseter. Prime mover of mastication or chewing. So, right now there's connective tissue on top of that thing. So I'm just going to grab some of that connective tissue and just start working my scissors underneath it to fully expose the masseter. And I'm going to go probe. Now you can see the masseter pretty well. And just start using this probe. Anything that's a clearish, whitish substance is connective tissue. So you can see I'm, there is a big flap of connective tissue just working underneath that. Not destroying the masseter. Unfortunately, some of you will destroy the masseter. Uh, and you'll know if you get little strings that start appearing, then you know you've gone too deep. Uh, up here, I'm being very careful 
up here by the eye because that's where the facial nerve is. The facial nerve is involved in facial expressions and some sensations. So moving the face runs right over the top of the master and branches in to the nose area. We need to isolate that structure. So I'm just going to look right through here and I can see the facial nerve right here. I'm going to work underneath it and boom, right there. What I'm holding up in the air is the facial nerve. You will need to do the same thing. That's called an isolation. So I should be able to, by the end of the day, take my probe and go underneath your facial nerve um, like this. Guaranteed. Again, some of you will cut the facial nerve or break the facial nerve. Your goal is not to do that today. Uh, believe it or not, this entire structure right here is the parotid gland. So it's your main producer of saliva. And like I already said, it will send saliva into the mouth on the parotid duct to that upper second molar. Where's the upper second molar? Right where my probe is. That means there's a tube I need to find next. So I'm going to work and it goes right underneath the masseter. I'm going to pull up on some of this connective tissue, pull it away, pull it, and I can actually cut that connective tissue out. So boom, connective tissue, that will go in the trash. And looking down here, I'm starting to see it. Yes, this pig is beautiful. We bought the bigger pigs this year. So um, there's my isolation. So parotid duct, isolated. Look at where it goes. Like if I followed this, parotid gland, saliva, upper second molar isolated. Hiding underneath the parotid gland will be the next uh, salivary gland. So I'm going to take my probe like so and I can see it a lot better than you can. Uh, right here is the submandibular gland. So I'm just going to work some of that out. Submandibular gland, where does it uh, send saliva to? Under the tongue at the lingual frenulum. As far as internal structures, that's about it. The last thing is um, I can expose, take a little connective tissue off right here, and I'm literally scraping the mandible. So remember, the mandible is the lower jaw, and uh, it, it would, for us, house uh, 16 <coughs> teeth and uh, support the lower face. Teeth. You don't have to dissect anything. All you have to do is know that uh, for most of your pigs, there will be a little canine sticking out right in the corner of the uh, mouth. So you'll draw that into your picture. And remember, canines are involved in shredding and tearing. We'll get to that later on. You just have teeth for now. External nares, right here, for breathing air in and out and for smelling. And then the tongue, finally. You will notice that the tongue is a little bit different than us and that it has these structures called papillae on the outside which helps pigs manipulate their environment. environment. That is it. So, kind of reviewing all of that. Masseter, get the connective tissue off. Do not destroy your parotid gland. Underneath the parotid gland, submandibular gland. Running from the parotid gland to the upper second molar parotid duct, isolate it running across the top of the uh, masseter, facial nerve, teeth, external nares, mandible. Those are your nine structures.